So as always, we'll begin our practice by simply sitting in a comfortable position. This can either be sat on the floor or sat in a chair, it doesn't matter, as long as your spine is upright and open. We apply the attention to our body. Allow the mind to fill the shape of the body. Let your awareness spread over the body as if it is like water soaking into a sponge. Simply breathe. Don't try to be involved. Don't try to control the breath. Simply allow your body to breathe as it wishes to. All of the qualities of sinking and anchoring the breath should arise while you sit here. And we will practice together. We will sit for a few minutes, just allowing these qualities to be here.
Now bring the hands around, one hand at the height of the throat, the other under the dantian. Doesn't matter which hand is on top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the direction of the upper hand. So I'm twisting my torso from side to side before I switch my hands. So the one that was on the top is now on the bottom and vice versa. As I turn, I am ensuring that Lao Gong or the center of my palm is facing Lao Gong of the opposite hand so that the two hands can work together to carry out an influence on the chi within my torso. This part of the exercise is simply designed to mobilize and stir the chi in the torso. So my awareness, my attention should be applied to the body so that you're paying attention to what is going on inside the torso. The hands will do the work. Your attention is being applied to the results of this work inside your body. Simply breathe naturally and continue like this. Now we bring the hands up to the height of the chest. Do not make a large circle with your hands, as you would see within sort of Jan Jong exercises or anything like this. Simply bring them to a comfortable position at the height of the chest. Now what we're going to do is turn the palms until Lao Gong, the center of the palms, are facing in towards your chest. Lightly stretch open the palms as if they are elasticated and then simply listen to your body while the palms are pointing towards your chest. The first of these exercises, these sequences, is really to do with the element of water and nourishing the kidneys. Now in Chinese medical theory, the lungs and the kidneys have a very close relationship. So in this posture, we are using the hands to stimulate and build the qi around the chest area before we drop it down and anchor it into the kidneys. So the whole internal mechanism related to your kidneys is being brought into play here. Hold the position, remain comfortable, and simply allow your awareness to be applied to the body, applied to the results. Do not guide, imagine, or visualize anything. Simply listen to your body and continue like so.
We're going to start to drop the qi down towards the dantian by moving to a common position used in many alchemical practices, which is bringing the hands down to the height of the diaphragm. Make sure the hands are not too high. If you have them above the diaphragm, it can actually cause tightness around the solar plexus. So you must bring the hand to the right place. The palms are facing straight down, not in towards the body, not in towards the dantian, straight down towards the floor. Lao Gong is gently stretched so that the palms are elasticated because the opening of the palms will start to direct the qi downwards to guide it towards the lower abdominal space. We use this to assist the qi within the chest to start moving down to the abdominal cavity. Remain in this position and allow your awareness to be applied to the body, simply paying attention to what is taking place. But no doubt you will find that there is a tendency for your awareness to start to move down into the lower half of the body, into the abdominal space. Don't try to guide it, but if that happens of its own accord, then it's no problem. Remain in this position and keep applying your awareness to the process. Now we're going to grasp the chi and the dantian. It's as if these postures have been gradually building the chi in the chest and then leading it down through the torso, down towards the dantian region. So now we move to the bao yuan hand position or mudra that is shown here. The hands are placed on the lap in front of the dantian. It does not matter which hand is on top. Do not worry about whether this is the male or female hand position or anything like this. Simply place your hands in the most comfortable of the two options. Some will prefer the left hand on top, some will prefer the right. Touch the thumbs together and then retain a little pressure between the thumbs as if they are gently squeezing something so that the mudra has enough power to do its work. Do not fully relax the hands. Let the mind move now towards the dantian and let it apply its attention to the space directly behind the mudra within your lower abdomen. Again, do not lead or guide or force, simply pay attention to the abdominal space, to the lower abdominal cavity, and allow the mudra to contain or guard the chi within the dantian region.
Now we bring the palms up above the head. Lao Gong is above Lao Gong, and this is above the crown or Bai Kui. There is a space between the hands and a space between the head. Listen to the body, listen to the sensation, and then draw the hands down your body with the palms facing your center line. You will find after a while that the movement of Qi from above towards the Dantian will start to guide the mind. Your mind will start to follow the experience and it will be drawn back to the Dantian where it is contained behind the Baoyuan Mudra once again. You do not have to follow your breath. Simply move at your own time. Spend a little time in the Baoyuan position and a little time above the crown of the head and just move when it's comfortable. What is more important than the speed or the rhythm of the breath is the application of your attention to the experiences and the sensation in your body while you are performing this movement. You are drawing the chi from above from the crown down towards the dantian. So the more and more energy is drawn down and gathered in the lower abdomen. Now we change to this next hand position, this mudra with the palms resting upon our knees, palms facing up. Here we pinch the thumb and the index finger and the ring finger together. There is a little pressure between the thumb, the ring finger and the index finger. It is not a relaxed position. My hands here are lightly stretched with a little bit of a squeeze at the point of connection with the fingers. This mudra is designed to consolidate the chi of the upper part of the body and the lower part of the body. The upper part of the body's chi is contained or controlled or governed by the ring finger and the index finger connects us to the lower region of the body, the lower abdomen. For those of you with a little bit of body awareness from prior practice, you will be able to feel how there is a squeezing or a gathering that takes place in the body when this mudra is held. But to be able to feel this result is not essential. Simply hold the hand position and return to allowing your mind to fill the whole body. Your attention is applied to the sensation across your whole form. And then just continue to breathe.
after completing the various sections that are unique to this water element or kidney aspect of the exercise, kidney nourishing, we return to place in the hands on the knees where we began our exercise. Once again, we are simply sitting and breathing while paying attention to the body. There is no need to breathe in a specific way or to govern the body or govern the mind. Simply pay attention to the body and allow it to breathe. It is as if muddy water is settling to the bottom of a glass of water. We simply allow the sediment to settle. We sit quietly and breathe and allow everything to grow calm and the chi to sink. But there is nothing for us to do. The skill here is simply to apply your attention and do very little. To conclude our seated work, we rub our hands together to stimulate the chi on the surface of the palms and then we massage the kidneys three times. Essentially, the stirred chi on the palms is much like a magnet with iron filings that will draw out the energy of the kidneys just to stimulate them. Then we do the same again by placing our palms over our eyes and then drag it down across the temples and behind the ears just to ensure that no chi is stuck in the head or nothing is rising up. We are dropping the chi down through some channels in the side of our head and our neck to ensure that we don't leave with a headache or an over-anxious mind. Thank you.